Good evening, everybody. How, how, how lovely to see you. <laughs> I'll get my words out eventually. I'm just so pleased because today we hit 6,000 YouTube subscribers somehow in the space of just over two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> if anyone gets that reference, I'll love you. Um, we've managed to jump up 1,000 subscribers, which is just incredible. Just incredible stuff for me. So I thank you every, every single one of you for helping make that happen and welcome to tonight's festivities Which is going to be playing for the first ever time in order to answer someone's question earlier um, the golden mask expansion pack for Tomb Raider 2 and um, Very much. Ex I'm very much looking forward to this one because this one's a bit more out there compared to the unfinished business one that I played a while back and um I'm very much going to be trying to find all the secrets so I can play the hidden level, which is something called Nightmare in Vegas. Which I've only seen screenshots of. I've not watched a le any level playthroughs or anything. I'm completely fresh on that, so I have no idea what to expect other than it's just going to be nuts. So I'm very much looking forward to sort of taking you along with me on that journey tonight. Let's say hello to everybody here. We've got um, Doopy Doo, welcome, Survivor Reborn, Beans35, uh, Broken Martian, Cyan Jin, Ed, Ed Illustration. Uh, Martin Priest, Jesper Bruce, Avast, Hawk, Hawko Kami, hope I got that right, and Nima, welcome, if I said Jester Socks already, Broken Martian, probably the Neen Speech, welcome, Cyan Jin, pause break, oh shit, we got a raid there from Terranetta, mm. I say thank you for joining me on this rather special of occasions. Who we got here? Got Terranetta Uncharted, Norsk Chick, to Tibet your ass. <laughs> I'm going to be playing this. Oh, God. So many people. It's hard to keep up. 42 of you here in the chat. Let me just see if I can actually get a list of some people so I can say proper highs. Uh, Bridge NT, welcome. Carbon, Chenzu, Croft Rider. Thank you very much for the challenge. I will try my very best to get all the secrets. I might need some of your help with that one. Have no idea where to look for them, so it should be good. Hopefully, I won't be too clueless. Um, just eyes, Nate, uh, Nico, uh, Pandemonium, Provian Cocaine, <laughs> the best cocaine, apparently. Tardis Boy, Sheepex, Tem Win, um, Twitch details, Verdelit as well. Thank you very much. Another fellow Patreon, brand new Patreon, actually, to the channel. So thank you very much for the support there, dude. Much appreciated. And Ariska. And also we got our resident moderator of the evening, Gibbic Guns, who is just on the tail end of a COVID-19 um, um, diagnosis. So, yes, so him and his family are recovering. I think he's pretty much out in the all clear. And I think his dad's still kind of like on the on the mend. It's all positive, which is really fantastic. And if Rap wins is here, if he does pop his head in, we need to sort of wish him well as well, because he's another person that I know of, at least. That has had been tested positive for COVID-19 as well. But I'm hoping everybody is well. Daily Witty, welcome. Um da, 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 Ten win. Did I skip you? I think I got you in the end. Oddball as well. First stream I've been able to watch in a while. Phone was an issue playing streams in 720, so I have, I have to watch in 4 480p. Glorious. Considering I've gone for a very retro VHS style aesthetic for everything. Hmm. San Montage. Welcome, welcome. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. PC is still dead. Oh yeah, F in the chat for um for Jason. His mastering PC crashed and lost all kinds of crazy stuff. So he's not having a good night tonight. So give him my best. Uh, Tenwin apparently had a chili cheeseburger from Burger King today. Delicious chili cheese sauce, jalapeno salad, onions, and chili bread. Nice. That makes me very hungry. I haven't had Burger King in over a year. Because there's not really one nearby of us. We've got, a McDonald's. We've got a couple of McDonald's near us. We've got a Subway. We've got KFC. I've had KFC a few times. Domino's. And various other local takeaway places. Mmm. Uh, yes. Hi, and Chibi as well. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Terranetta, tell me about your stream. How did your stream go? Your uh, Sheep Raider stream. Tell me. Hope it went well. Right. I think that's everyone. So far, I've got 52 people ready, raring to go. It's amazing, this is. So I'm just going to pause the music and let's take it to the game. Okie dokie. So if I just do the usual stuffs, 
Hey, thank you very much for the host there on Chartered Raider. So, um, one thing I just wanted to show to everyone, I think this might be a benefit of anyone who's looking to play the Gold Edition on PC. If I just go to display. Um, so, hopefully I should be able to show you this. Now, not many people know about this automated fix, but if you go into the PC version of Tomb Raider 2, like you can hopefully see here, if you go into the guide section, this, if anyone's curious on how to get a hold of the gold versions for their own copies, if you go into this guide section, go into modding and config, download this thing here. Download the automated fix. It gives you um, full HD resolutions, widescreen hack as well, so it's not doesn't look like Lara's ate, eaten a, too, a few too many uh, chili cheeseburgers. <laughs> and it also does some other kind of optimizations and stuff. But most importantly, it dumps the gold edition files in there, which I didn't know about which I didn't know about. So once you've got that installed, um, if you go to where it is saved to, and then you'll notice there's a folder in here called gold. I don't know how well you can see that in this, but if you go to the folder that's gold, all you need to do to load this game, the gold edition, is just to literally click on that executable there. And you're done. And you are done. Which is what we're going to be doing to play this. So if you give me two seconds. I just thought it'd be, it'd be a nice thing to go through just in case anyone who might not be necessarily technically clued up on how to do this sort of thing or where this sort of avenue exists. It's quite a useful thing to know about. So there we go. Let me just open that. Hey, that's me in the activity tab. Yes, it is, Bridge. It is indeed. Oh, hang on. There we go. So I'm just going to do set to about six so I can turn it up here and hopefully it's not going to completely burst your eardrums as well because I had some sound problems last time. If anyone's watched my unfinished business VOD back, you'll notice there's a few comments of people having a bit of a bad time with the sound department. So I'm trying my best to make sure it's all evened out and it's all, it's all sounding good. So just let me know if I need to adjust anything to do with sound effects. Oh, speaking of sound effects. Uh, there's a new one that I've added, which will probably confuse the fuck out of me because it's the exact same noise that Lara makes uh -huh. when she finds something. So um, no doubt I'm going to get completely trolled by that several times. Thank you very much for the bits, Hi and Jimmy. Um, actually, I'm just going to turn it down just a smidge. Just turn it down to three. There we go. Uh, music to my ears. I like this menu screen because I've, I've, I've not actually I've not actually seen anything to do with Jason. this at all, so I don't really know what to expect. But it's really nice to actually re-experience Tomb Raider 2 again. Um, so this menu screen is quite interesting. Um, they seem to have just gotten a generic photo of a Tibetan person and photoshopped in a golden mask, which I think is quite cute. In the in the in the right hand side there. <laughs> and um, we're a bit limited in terms of options in this particular expansion. You've got controls that you can configure, you've got the sound, uh, there's nothing else. So we're just going to play the game and see how we get on. So we're going to go on to new game. Okay. Lots of Uzi. Is that? No, they're spears. Harpoon. Oh, yes. Oh, no, shark. Uh -huh. It's not a baby shark, do 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 do. It's an adult shark, do 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 do. Uh, yeah, thank you, Panther. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, by the way. Okie dokie. Wait, right, hang on. The audio seems to be very quiet, doesn't it? I'm just looking at the audio levels, and it does seem very very quiet. So let's bump that up to six. There we go. Okay, the shark is somehow not attacking me. So, um, anyone who's played this before, did you want to sort of clue me up on what time period this particular DLC sets is set in? Whereabouts in the story does this take place? Hey, hi, Jimmy. Thank you very much for the bits. Right, I'm just going to get some ear. Come on, Lara, you've got what you want to give these people ear. Sixty-four lovely people. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. I'm going to try my best to keep up with everyone in the chat. Well, as many people as I can. It's set after Tomb Raider 2. Like, how far after the events of Tomb Raider? Like, straight after Tomb Raider 2? Ooh! First ancient Chinese Tibetan secret, I think. What is this? 
Why is this shark following? Ah, no! Oh. <laughs> I like how it followed me for all this time. And um, uh -huh. it just nibbled me just a, just a little bit when I went when I went near that secret, and then that's what killed me. Two seconds. Thank you very much for the bits there, Nima. Keeping Winston in the freezer, and see if everyone else can join in and help me on my glorious quest to keep Winston chilly, stay frosty. <laughs> bit me and it's like pretty much wiped out most of my health. Amazing. Sephiroth. Oh yes, it's the it's the green crosses in this because um Red Cross weren't too happy about a uh, a gun ho adventurer using their um their branding on their on her healing equipment. I think we're supposed to imagine that Lara Croft just jumped out of a helicopter and into a freezing into a freezing cold ocean. Yeah, it would be something like that. One thing I'm very glad of, like I can say immediately from the get-go, um, that I'm very glad is that the um, there's no freezing or temperature um, mechanic like in Tomb Raider 2. I'm um, 3, sorry. Where you could basically, you could freeze to death in this. This one seems to be completely foregoing that. Probably because they didn't think of it before this um, expansion was made. There we go. Sorry, Bruce. I know fish are friends, not food, but you're trying, mate. Humans come, come into that category too. Right. Let's create our first save. Not doing so great on the health front, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We'll get there. Uh, secrets are gold coins, gold blocks, and gold skull instead of the dragons. Ah, I was wondering that, so that was a secret. Excellent. We all deserve bacon. Yes, we do. Thank you, Uncharted. I... Have you got some that you want to share with the rest of the class? Uh, are you going for collecting all secret achievements with this run, though? Um, yes, because you have to get all the secrets to get the final level, which is the um, Lost in Las Vegas one. Hi, and Chibi, thank you very much for the bits. Prefer cheese rather than bacon. I like both, really. They both have their place. Just have a look. Is that Aurora Borealis? Is that the Aurora Borealis? At this time of the day, this part of the country, localized entirely in Tomb Raider 2. Can I see it? Yes. No. <laughs> I get, um, can I get a doppelganger bacon Lara cheeseburger? <laughs> bacon Lara double cheeseburger. What the? Uh oh, musical sting. Who's Amanda? Something wicked approaches. Whatever that was. Macho broccoli. Du -du 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 -du. Okay. Oh, that sounds like a leopard of some sorts. Oh, there's a helicopter. Wait, don't go. Don't leave me here. Fine. They'll be back. They're, they always come back. Except the one that sank into the frozen ocean in Tomb Raider 2. Tomb Raider 3. I keep calling it 2. What's wrong with me? Tomb Raider 3. Hey, it's your boy, Badass Gamers here, and... <laughs> you, you, you okay there, buddy? You, you okay there? Just... <laughs> ah! <laughs> You'll like the animals in this. What's the shortcut for... I can never remember this. What's the shortcut for Flair? Hey, thank you very much, Mr. Azuka Papi. Azuka Papi. Probably got that completely wrong. Select, I think. Oh, no! Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm flatter than a pancake. Well, this level's called the Cold War. I'm actually feeling kind of warm. But thank you for asking. Broken Martian, Jesper Bruce. Thank you very much there for the bits. Good luck, you're gonna need it. I... I feel... Oh so lucky. And oh so underprepared. But it's fine, we're gonna get through this. With your help! Uh, have I seen the fam make remake of Tomb Raider 2 by Nico Bass? Uh, the demo of the games is available on Steam. Is it available on Steam? That's pretty cool. 
Um, uses the Lao engine spectacularly. Yes, um, I have seen it. I've yet to actually play. I want to sort of reserve it for a stream. It's something I plan plan on get, plan on getting to. Okay. I wonder if it's actually going to make me not hate the harpoon gun because I actually thought the harpoon gun was a little bit useless in Tomb Raider 2. Hey. Nilo112, thank you very much for the follow there, my friend. Stop, stop, it's already dead. Nope. F5, there we go. Save. The Cold War. Nope, harpoon st gun's still useless, but I love it anyway. Oh, bless you. Always sticking out for the middleman. For the little guy. For the outcasts of society. Thank you very much for the bits, high and Shimi. Possibly pushing this the wrong way. Oh, there's a there's a natural there's a naturally uh, uh -huh. <laughs> existing health kit. A wild health kit has appeared. Yeah, I can never remember what the button is for flaring this. It's something in a shoulder button, if I remember rightly. Oh, I've got to remember this is not as forgiving as Legend. I've been I've been so embroiled with Legend that I've got to sort of, ah no, got to get my mind back out of that and into this and the way this game these games think again. Although I have completed Mists of Avalon, uh, that TRLE level that was pretty cool. Very much looking forward to plan to talking about that in a separate video, because um, I don't know if I uh, I don't know how many of you were here for the last one that I did. But I'm going to be doing a series on Tomb Raider, level, Tomb Raider level editor levels to sort of showcase them off to people who might not even know about them much to sort of like do them in a kind of like my sort of usual style. But um, yes, um, uh, Mr. Avalon will be the first venture in that particular series. Your Legend video was very cool, by the way. Loved it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. It's L2 for Flair. Oh, I pressed R2 and it seemed to do it. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. There's nothing up here anyway. Hey, thank you very much for the bits there. Oscar. Arsa? Oscar? Uh oh. Rutro. Boulder. Boba Fett. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. I was kind of hoping the Snow Leopard would get taken out by the boulder. That's one thing that I don't... I definitely don't miss about Tomb Raider 2 is that it's the pl plethora of boulder traps that are in it. I've got to, I've got to remember that. This game likes to throw boulders at you, like, at any fucking given opportunity. It's just like, do you want boulders? Hey, I like... I know you like boulders. Let's give some boulders within those boulders within those boulders. Uh, one bit that made me laugh quite a bit is the fact that the um, the opera house has boulders in it. Just because, of course, <laughs> in the place that it shouldn't have boulders, it has quite a few boulders. So many gigantic balls everywhere. Yes, you're right. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I'm gonna, gonna take a, a leaf out of my own book and make multiple saves just in case I need to double back and um, go secret uh -huh. hunting just in case. Heavy decorations. Very heavy decorations. Round chandeliers. Hey, Mr. Pavarotti, you you're ready to go on stage? But what is this? <laughs> Oh, those that don't mind those, those are the new fancy, uh, um, the new fancy round spherical chandeliers we've installed. But they look like they can crush a man. Oh, it's fine. Oh, God! <laughs> they coordinated an attack. Oh, God. <laughs> they're ruthless. These boulders, they're fucking sentient. In Soviet Tibet, boulder crush you. 
It's the Avalon sentient boulders that will get you. <laughs> the boulders are working together in packs. That's how they hunt. <laughs> in packs of three, one big one and two tiny ones next to it. Okay, so there we go. Boulder number one, please. Boulder number two, please. <laughs> It's so ridiculous. And there it is. You hang your head in shame, Boulder. You know what you've done. I like some kind of, like, rubble-based Pokemon. Uh -huh. Hey, Blade Master. Thank you very much for the host. And welcome, dude. Welcome to the stream. Anything up there? No, just... Well, it looks like there's something I can get up there. If I could find a way up to it. But indeed, that is just there for boulders. It's a boulder cubby hole. Boulder Raider. Graveler. Yeah, kind of like an evolution of Graveler. Boulderler. <laughs> that sounded so stupid. Boulderler. Boldenetta. Boulder Dash. Golem. Yeah, yeah. That's very true. Uh-oh. Music's playing. Does this mean I'm going to have... More wild boulders to attempt to to um try and fend off. Who's Amanda? I don't know. You sir, tell me who's Amanda. We sir like these. <laughs> we shall make you bombard general. Brilliant. This room looks like it's completely useless. Unless there's a wall or something that I can use to climb up. Uh -huh. I have no. I've no idea whether or not this is actually supposed, supposed to be where I'm supposed to be going. But where else can I go, I guess? You can climb. Aha. I thought that might have been the case. What the? Ah, there we go. Brilliant. Amanda hug and kiss. Hi, and Jimmy. Thank you very much for the bits. Whoa, what the heck? Camera's having a fun time. Does someone want to get the uh, camera a nice warm hot, hot cup of cocoa in a blanket? Looks like I it's having a bit of a rough night. <laughs> By the way, how are the sound levels for... Oops. How are the sound levels for the game compared to everything else? Do I need to turn it up a bit? <coughs> oh. Oh, yay. Gun enemies. My favourite. It's alright. It's just one person. Time to do the Lara Croft hopscotch. One potato, two potato. There we go. Notice how the cross on the mini packs are now green. Yes, because of Red Cross. Uh -huh. Red Cross don't like, um, didn't like people using red crosses on their health kits. So that's why they had to change it. At the time, at least. Here comes the Michelin man. Oh, yeah. He's here to rate your restaurants and um, give you um, shit hot tires. So what do we got? So we got... M16. Oh my god, the M16 could have been such a cool weapon. Should have been such a cool weapon. But using it is just... It's so... Oh god, it's so sluggish and un, unwieldy. So sluggish. And you literally have to be stood perfectly still to make the most of it. Which leaves you completely open to any and all kind of gunfire. Ooh. Yep, sure, Lara. Why not? Let's, let's go down here. I fancy a change of scenery. M16 is your favourite. Oh, fair enough. I just personally just like I could see it being a lot better if they increased the mobility of it by quite a bit. Oh shit. Um, I've just tapped out by accident. No. Oh, thank you very much to Hi and Chimi for the bits. Let's just heal myself. Uh, the MP5 is way better. Yes, the uh -huh. MP5 from 3 is is way better. Uh -huh. Hey, Raider Mama, welcome. How you doing? Welcome to Jurassic Fart. Okay. Cold War. Uh, yes, the M16 is great for long range. That is something that it, ex it excels at. But if you're just rushed by a whole group of enemies, uh, it's not great. Situationally, it's a little bit 
it's a little bit lacking. Uh, MP5 was fun for killing velociraptors. That it was. I want to know where the second secret is because I saw a little hatch up by the boulder trap. So I'm wondering whether or not if I go back to the boulder trap, I'll be able to climb up and find somewhere. Or if I just literally Macho have to go find broccoli. another way. Oh, music again. Ba -ba 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 -ba. No. So just just to reiterate what I'm looking for, I'm looking to try and get up there because I'm I can pretty much guarantee there's some kind of secret up there. So obviously we're gonna have to find no. another way round. Dun 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 dun. Uh, look in the shadows for the second secret. Look in the shadows, the amulet. The amulet of whores. In the shadows, eh? No. Not sure if it's exactly here, and I very much doubt that this is going to be... That's just a pit, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think there's anything up here for me, man. Hey, thank you very much for the subscribe there, Nico Day. Nico... Red J. Thank you very much there. Welcome to the War Clan. Be sure to link your Discord and Twitch accounts together and you can get yourself some cool, sweet VIP perks there. Like uh, an outtake reel of um, my wife throwing a box at my face several, several times for that one, like, two second shot at the beginning in my Legend video. And other stuff that's coming soon. But yes. By the way, love that video. Thank you, man. But the positive res like, reception I've gotten from that um, has been over, like really, really humbling. And can't thank everyone here enough. Thank you. I am not worthy of such praise. Watching the stream with Gillian Shells and is for pure decadence. Gillian, that's a name drop if ever I've seen it. Arc Raider 67, welcome. Thank you very much for the follow. Lovely to have you. I wonder if I jump over this, this is pretty much going to lock me out of this area, isn't it? Oh my god, I haven't seen that outtake. Yes, it's exclusive to any Patreon supporters and Twitch subscribers too. So, if you are interested, um, any amounts you sort of put towards Patreon gets you access, um, no matter how little or large. It's just think of it like a tip jar with benefits and it helps the channel out and it's also, I put it towards like, um, making more content good for you and other stuff but you get all kinds of like behind the scenes stuff like i sort of give you early access to like skits and jokes that i'm working on i explain all the vfx that i did for certain videos like all the stuff i did for my last revelation video as well i'm quite proud of that and all the stuff to do with my angel of dark suspended like the ending scene um of lara and curtis is something i go into and it's quite um it'd be quite eye-opening for anyone who's interested in editing um or likes sort of that's watching that sort of thing Hey, 100 bits. Thank you very much, Jess Bruce, and thank you very much, Hi and Chimi, for the bits there. Uh, thank you for the Legend Retrospective. You're welcome. I'm very, 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 very excited and keen to talk about Anniversary. Because um, Anniversary, um, what I think what a lot of people don't realise is there's actually a lot of the games that I'm covering in this retrospective, I'm covering and talking about and even experiencing for the very first time. Um, so, like, um, the only games that I've actually completed um, without cheating... <laughs> back in the day, were Tomb Raider 1. Um, I played Tomb Raider 3, but never completed it fully. Um, Anniversary, I, I completed like quite a few times. Um, Legend, I played. And I've completed Tomb Raider 2013 and Rise of the Tomb Raider. So, games like Chronicles, uh -huh. The Last Revelation, Tomb Raider 2, even 3 to a degree, and Angel of Darkness, certainly, um, have all been completely fresh, fresh experiences for me. And um, I think that's why some people kind of like think I'm complaining too much or don't get some um, certain aspects of certain ones like Last Revelation, for example. It's because I'm going into them with no nostalgia for it whatsoever. Um, just I'm just going in it completely experiencing completely fresh. 
Um, so it's been an interesting journey, and it's kind of led to these things here, these expansions, and it's led to more like interesting like custom level stuff as well, which has been. Oh, this is how you get back, so you can jump. Ah, that's pretty cool. They thought of everything they have. <laughs> so it's been really eye-opening. Uh, interested to know what you think of Anniversary, because I know you said, it, um, said your favourite is number one, so I'm interested to see how you think they compare. Ooh, well, you just have to gonna, gonna have to wait there for my um, exact thoughts on Anniversary. You're gonna have to wait. Um, but I will say that I think it has one of the more powerful character mo character developing moments for the character out of the entire franchise so far I've not experienced everything in shadow that could change, but I'll have to see I haven't even I, underworld. I've not played either. So that's gonna be completely fresh uh, Don't play Tomb Raider underworld at 144 Hertz. It's so glitchy. No, I yeah, I'd play it at 60 Hertz anyways the way it was meant to be played so before the physics all go screwy Ooh, zip wire time. I'm kind of disappointed the zip wires didn't really make a comeback, did they? Unless I'm remembering the other ones wrong. But zip wires seem to be just relegated to this game, didn't they? I quite liked them. Out of all the new things that they introduced to the series, I thought the zip wires were quite fun. Uh oh. Excuse me. It's possible to get perma stock in Underworld? Ooh, dear. I've heard that the PC version of the game is a bit buggy in terms of like the camera as well, so I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> uh, very nervous and excited for my take on Underworld. If there's anything else I can do in order for Steve to play the included DLC in his review, then please let me know. Yes, I, you've been very much very helpful with uh, um, configuring the Xbox 360 emulator so I can so I can get a hold of the Lara Shadow DLC and be able to play it and record it. But we shall see. Um, I've got a capture card. Why not just play the console version? Because that means I'd have to buy the DLC. I'm pretty sure. So I could, if I need to, I could resort to recording an Xbox 360 version of the game, but we'll see. The music is quite loud, isn't it? I'm going to keep that save where it is. Eagle? That's why I'm really looking forward to seeing if there's like, if any game, like, is would be quite an easy thing to remaster, apart from the classic, like, to, to sort of, to re-release a remastered version of, it would be the Legend Era, because if they could just brush up all of the bugs and include all the DLC, especially like the Lara Shadow stuff and whatever for Underworld, that would be a really cool way that would be a really cool thing for fans, and I know a lot of people like myself want the classics like these ones to be available on mo modern platforms. And that would still be amazing, that would be the best case scenario, but if they were to offer us something like the Legend und Anniversary and Underworld games remastered um, in better quality, that would still be a quite good win in my book. Be gone, bird! God. <laughs> making making the eagle race extinct one bird at a time. Oh, what's this? Is this a another snow leopard somewhere? I hear. Hey, Rapwins, how you feeling, buddy? This is uh Rapwins, everyone. Uh, he's still recovering from a COVID nineteen diagnosis, so hopefully he's doing okay. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, it's your thoughts on the game, Steve. It's a shame some of the people in your comments don't understand that or understand your criticism in other aspects of the game. Cough, cough, bikinis in Legends. Cough, cough. But then again, um, it's your thoughts on the game. On the game, and like you said, in some cases you're going with no nostalgia. Yeah, and like some of the some of the quite vitriolic responses I've gotten for certain aspects, like indeed the bikinis in Legend. I knew that was going to cause some problems with some people. And mostly though, it's been positive, and that's what I've got to focus on. Just not even give these troglodytes the time of day, you know? Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So there's a, there's a gate there. I'm genuinely sort of curious whether or not I've missed any secrets. So if anyone's anyone's got a walkthrough <laughs> or an eidetic memory, now's the time to crack it out. 
I'm very close to a secret, Croft Rider says. Ooh, okay, cool. Check the pit under the zip line. That was going to be one place I was going to check, so I'll get round to... Oh, God, Jesus! Oh, no! Oh, God! Oh. <laughs> oh, no. The boulders strike again. God damn. We're back here. It's fine. Steve! What do you want? <laughs> Steve! Uh, how many times have they called you um, a simp? Be honest. They've never... I've not actually been to a called a simp yet. I've been called an SJW twat Space. by one person, which I thought was absolutely hilarious. And that, again, was over the bikini thing. Because all I did was dare to just point out that one developer put Lara in a bikini whilst the other developer didn't. And that, for some reason, makes me some kind of, like, social justice warrior troglodyte prick, according to one person. But hey-ho. <laughs> And then he went complete. And then this person went completely off the rails by saying that Toby, Toby Guard himself, was a weak, was a weak man because he left the series because of boobies, and that's not how men act. I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but you get the idea. Crazy. Uh -huh. Yes, I know. It's 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 mad, Hi and Jimmy. Well, it had to happen eventually. I I know. I know. It's fun. It's it's like my form of target practice. I get to I get to sort of, I get to flex my comedy. Comedy muscle stronger now. on these fools. Uh, Steve has a harsh take on Tomb Raider 2. Most, uh, my most nostalgic property, but I still breathe it. Is it harsh though? I, I didn't think I was that harsh. Um, the only thing I was harsh against is the fact that he uses too many boulder traps, and the gun enemy placements of them is there's a bit too many. And some of the way that they've been placed has is just doesn't make sense. Like one one big example I'll give you. I can't remember the name of the level, but it's one of the ones in the Maria Doria. It's one of the first few ones. And you're in a section where you basically have to swim up an upper hatch. And a, when you arrive at the top of this hatch, there's like several enemies st stood around this one hatch that you're having to get out and um, start immediately shooting you. And I was in a situation where I didn't have any ammo for my harpoon gun, so I couldn't properly use it. So what ended up basically happening was that these people would just stand around this hole to basically point their gun straight at it, knowing that that's the only way that you can come out. And they would immediately start shooting at you whilst you're still trying to climb out of the hole to then fight back. So that by the time that you've actually climbed out of that hole, you would have lost a lot of health. And then you're already at a disadvantage is the point I was trying to make. Um... I don't think... I think 2 Redder 2, in, like, in retrospective, is definitely one of the stronger showings. I definitely prefer this over TR4. Um, and it's um, it's certainly a competent game. It just did some things that I just thought could have been done a bit better. Just a little bit better. But then again, no nostalgia for TR2. It's a very difficult game. It's a very brutal game, but not as brutal as 3. And welcome, Sarah of War. Sup, bitches? Mother has arrived. <laughs> then you quote Vivacious in this chat. Thank you very much for the bits there. Um, ask her, Raider Mama, and Hi and Jimmy. Thank you, thank you. Eighty viewers. Yeah, I have no idea how many people, how I've got so many people watching. But hello, check out my YouTube channel. <laughs> I also have a merchandise shop. You can buy some cool things to wear. Actually. Oh, hang on. Just because I'm a completely shameless no. self-promoting asshole. I have a t-shirt shop. So you can buy your own, uh, you can buy your own macho broccoli stuffs. They've got mugs, they've got stickers. There's even a other designs there. One I released recently, which is um, right from the Egyptian Adventure gift shop itself. So um, feel free to check that out. Obviously, no one has to buy anything, but if you do like anything, then feel, then uh, much appreciate it. All goes towards the a good cause, which is me, <laughs> me making more stuff for you to enjoy. Uh huh. <laughs> Quasimodo plugs merch. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, uh -huh. emo guru Larry. <laughs> nah, I love you, dude. Oh my god, he is invisible. 
yeah, the expansions are pretty good. Um, if you just go to the guide section on Steam, you should be able to download the automated fix, and that automatically installs this gold expansion, which you can access in the game game directory. But yes, more people should play these. It's a bit of a shame that they didn't release these versions for the PlayStation, but hey ho, you get what you can. No, I don't want to load. I want to save. God damn it! There we go. Um, remember, Lara can Kool Aid her way through ice. <laughs> yes, that's very true. Here comes Lara. Here comes Lara. Oh yeah. Uh, I haven't even played Little Nightmares One of us. So asking me if I've played Number Two is a bit redundant. But I've seen my my good YouTube friend Petronius's video, which I do recommend you check out as well. He's sort of gotten me into checking it out. I'm still alive. And there's the M16! In the bottomless chasm. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Weaponry. But yes, um, it, it's got a very nice... That was a complete fluke, by the way, me, me surviving that. You'll see that a lot in this particular stream. Um, but yes, you... Um, it's a very Abe's Odyssey-esque looking game, which I dig. So I might check it out at some point. Because it is quite cheap to buy. So... <laughs> Thank you for clipping that moment of me shamelessly plugging my channel to everybody. Sorry. I know that shameless plugging is like it's not the it's not the non-cringiest things to watch, but at the same time I kinda have to do it sometimes. But I I did did everyone like my Raid Shadow Legends jab that I made at the beginning of my uh legend video? Who's Amanda? Indeed, who it the ch the question we all should ask is our children Amanda. That's the questions we should be asking. But yes, I'm hoping you're interested in that. Are you interested in that? Hope you liked that. Uh, I was playing Little Nightmares in my in my roommate. You were playing Little Nightmares inside your roommate. Okay, I thought it was a game based on Frank and Weenie. <laughs> really? Okay. Franken Frankenvini. Ah yes, Lara can indeed Kool-Aid through ice, but can only shoot ice at the at the right angle, at the right distance away. <laughs> yeah, the oversaturation of rage sad shadow legends on people's videos. I get that creators have to make a living by taking sponsorships, but fuck me, that game is everywhere. Oh, it's Mr. Michelin. Miss Croft, I'm here to rate your sushi restaurant. Is your kitchen clean? Ah, one star. Who's Amanda? <laughs> Fucking who's Amanda. Uh -huh. Ah, oh, Alistair. He really is the Jar Jar Binks of the Tomb Raider franchise, really, isn't he? Bless him. And yes, I will stand by that statement. He looks like, um... He looks like an. You unsavory little. <laughs> it's, it looks like um. Oh god. It looks like if someone from an Oxford university tried to put on a a an amateur dramatics pr pr production of Scarface, and that's the person they got to play Tony Montana. You know what I mean? Why is he dressed like a Colombian cocaine dealer? <laughs> Eighty viewers. Holy shiznot. No. Oh, there is something down here. It's death. <laughs> Loading game. Not an unfair comparison. I have, I have my moments. I have my moments. That sometimes, I where I sometimes make sense. Uh, Steve, you're forgetting something, dude. Am I? Am I forgetting something, Croft Rider? Oh, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Death boulders. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, I've still got that hilarious, horrendous glitch screen from the last stream in my head. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. You unsavory little cunt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, what does this expansion do, Fly Guy? It basically is just like an extra set of levels set after the main game. It's like a new... It's like a... It's like an epilogue of such. Like an unofficial but official epilogue, if that makes sense. It was only released on the PC versions. But welcome! Oh, shit! Fire back, Judith Gibbons! Good God. If I press X and that at the same time, it makes me... Makes me minimize my blooming screen. That's annoying. Steel Panther. Hi, and Jimmy. Thank you very much for the bits. <laughs> you could say it's unfinished business. Yeah. <laughs> Alistair is the McLovin of Croft Manor. He's like um, Alistair's like Giles from Buffy. Um, if he tried to play Scarface, I think that's a more appropriate analogy, really. Less less convoluted than my Oxford student trying to do an am amateur theatrics version of Scarface. I know, poor kitten. And yes, we're up here. This is exactly where I thought secret stuff would be. And I was right. Thank you very much, though, to everyone who gave me the hints, though, to get here. Me love you long time. Thank you for the bits. I want to grab your juicy tits. Caseman dog. Oh, you sly one. Mm. Yeah, Ash's interview with Shelley Blonde and Jonelle Elliott was a really good watch. If anyone hasn't seen that, I highly recommend seeking it out because it is something... It's amazing to see, like, Jonelle Elliott doing something, you know, in the modern day. Having an actual online presence now, which is crazy. But the two of them get on so well that, like... Shelley Blonde refers to Jono Elliott as John at several points, which I thought was quite funny. But they just uh, have such chemistry. And the history that they have between each other is really interesting, too. They actually did stage shows together, which is pretty funny. And, like, um, Shelley was one of the people that Jono told, like, almost immediately when she found out that she was playing Lara Croft. So, yeah. Yeah, interesting tidbits there. Go watch Tomb of Ashes video. It's a it's a bl bloody brilliant watch. He's a very very lucky boy to be able to do that. Oh, there's a keyhole there. Interesting. And keys open doors. <laughs> Shonel, yes. Shonel Welliot. Thank you very much, Hi and Chimmy, for the bit. So what are we on? 280 there on the Winston Freezer Fund. So, do I push it? I'm just going to push it back. Uh, so overall, you're happy with the viewer response to your Legend of Retrospect then? Yeah, very happy. Very, 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 very happy. Couldn't be happier. It's going to be interesting to see how people react to, in the wake of the, the anniversary edition from Core Design leaking this year, it'd be interesting to see how people react to my thoughts on... Uh, on anniversary. Crystal's anniversary. Oh, damn. <clears throat> oh, damn, indeed. Let's save there for a second <laughs> before I make such a wild jump. Oh, challenge Steve. No med, med kits for half an hour. Enjoy. Okay. Fair enough. Let me just uh, set my timer up. Two seconds. And... Stop. Nope. Timer. No. Can't type. 30 minutes. Okay. 30 minutes. No med kits. Fucking do this. How does she not freeze her legs when she's in these shorts? Yeah, that's a very good question. Considering that when she was in Tibet the first time with this jacket, the shorts were very, very much a situational wardrobe choice. Now, when she's gone back, she had the she had the decision to give herself some trousers, but um, she's actively chosen to be uh, visually have some visual continuity with the rest of her adventure. That's interesting. Uh -huh. Ah, auto pistols. One of the best weapons in the game, actually. Automatic pistols. Lots of re There's a lot of reused assets in this. <laughs> My 90s peeps who wear short shorts. Broken Martian and Hi and Chimmy, thank you very much for the cheers there. Thank you. 
Lara shaved her legs and god damn it, she's gonna show them off. Yes. Hashtag feminism. <laughs> Her thighs be so bronze they can fucking melt ice. <laughs> I used to wear shorter shorts for cross country, lol. Did you now? Tell me more. <laughs> so that was all just to get the auto pistols. Awesome. Awesome, saw awesome. Uh -huh. Never skip leg day. She never skipped leg day for so long, her muscles have become thick to withstand the cold. <laughs> I've got legs of steel. Thighs of steel. Ooh, okay. Oh, there's an enemy person. Let's shoot the enemy man. <laughs> Technical term. I've got balls of steel. Thank you, gimmick guns there with the balls of steel. It's time to kick ass and use the shotgun. What? You expecting something else? I've got balls of steel. I've got thighs of steel. Ah, yes, I need a key. That's why I need to go there. Hooray. My legs feel warmer now. Maybe I can make this jump. My footstep speed has increased. Maybe now I can breathe this gas. Aha! My prayers have been answered. Uh -huh. Thank you, Tibetan gods of convenience. Macho broccoli. Brocco macholi. Hi, and Jimmy, thank you very much for the bits. Fucking Bort. Bort never leaves my head. No, he does not. That monstrosity that you created for your uh, birthday royal rumble. Uh. Can't believe Cheggers managed to take out... Who was it that Cheggers took out again in that, Alex? It wasn't Popeye, was it? It was someone else. Was it Cursed Digits? Yeah, the skybox in this map is quite good. I quite like it. I quite like interesting skyboxes in games. Still looks way better than anything freaking Chronicles put, put forward. Sadly, the, the skyboxes in the PC version, at least, of that game just looked terrible. Ooh, shaman. Uh -huh. It's the shaman. The amulet, everyone. Remember the amulet. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> How you doing, bud? You doing all right? Surprisingly, Checkers was in the top third of contestants. How? Well, hey! How? <laughs> He's fucking Checkers. He looked like he came off a bout of chemotherapy and he somehow managed to throw two people out of the ring. Uh -huh. He looked whiter than vanilla ice. And yet he still somehow managed to slay him damn. Oh, only one. Because there can be only one. Excuse me. You unsavory little c**t. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to put down your weapon. I am the Terminator. Where are you? Ow. Come back here. Fuck you. <laughs> Chron all of Chronicle skyboxes made me feel violated. It wasn't great. It looked like it just looked like you're on the set of a like a stage or something for a local pantomime. It didn't look great. Coupled with the smaller level like level size as well, didn't help things. It's time to party. There we go. Long range is the way to go with that. It seems. And thank you very much for the bits, Hyun Chimi, and also Uncharted Raider. Thank you for the fifty. I'm the party pooper. I keep pressing R2 for sprint. Oh, God. <laughs> Fucking. It's Tony the Tiger's Tibetan cousin. I'm not going to eat your frosties. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. I've always wanted to have a have a Jerry Halliwell from the 90s themed Spice Girls uh, skidoo to ride in a Tomb Raider game. Thank you, Wish Fulfillment. And thank you, Broken Martian, for the bits. 
This by Country Mile, the most awful part of this expansion, janky as fuck. I literally made myself a montage of the amount of times I died. Have fun. Oh, great. Looking forward to it. <laughs> You've set me up to fail now. I hope you realized. Okay, let's just quickly save. Sav. Those are zebra stripes. Yes, they are. It's 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 supposed to be, I guess, like snow print, snow camo print or something. Oh God, no! I can't use. I still can't use med kits for twenty three minutes. <laughs> what is zebra print doing in Tibet? That's all I'll say. Aha. Aha. It's a good job that the lighting doesn't affect objects in this particular game, doesn't it? <laughs> so I can clearly see everything where everything is without the use of a uh, of a flare. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh shit! A new donation from w Wap Wins. Thank you very much for supporting me on the old Kofi. Good old coffee. I'll come up with a new recipe. I like how the guy's just like, oh, she's shooting me. What should I do? I don't know. Just run away very slowly. Okay. So what's the betting that there's going to be something at the bottom here for me to find? Which there is. Okay. Good talk, Steve. I'm glad we had it. Thanks, Steve. Okay. This isn't good. This is probably going to hurt me, isn't it? Thank you very much for the bits. Hi and Chimi. And there go my legs. <laughs> Whoopsie. Who's Amanda? <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully in Underworld they'll tell me. I feel stronger now. I like the casual walk she does when she's holding penis. Holding penis, yes. Hey, Candy Keen. Two month in the row subscription. Thank you very much. Legs are overrated. Who needs legs when you've got bird? Okay, so that guy has officially just like gone on lunch, hasn't he? He's gone on a lunch break. Alice's PSA. Um, do you know where Children are Manda? What? <laughs> you completely fucked that one up, I think. Uh oh. Let me just uh, slowly climb back up and deal with the problem in a more effective way, from a safe distance, like a real American, I mean British person. Come on, Lara. You got a. Oh, he's back. He's come back from his cigarette break. Oh, there's another person up there as well. He's run back into gunfire. What is he doing? <laughs> maybe that PSC didn't hit the UK. Yeah, maybe Cheggers presented it. That's why. That's why Alex fucked it up. It's the spirit of it's the spirit of Cheggers past that's preventing him from from completing that punchline. Right. It's time to ass kick and shoot things. <laughs> that actually works, holy shit. Thank you very much, Hi and Chimi. <laughs> Steve, have you ever thought about making the Q and A? Um, it's one of those things where I didn't think, uh -huh. I don't think people will be interested enough to see a QA of me done. It's something I might do for Patreon, certainly, uh -huh. and Twitch subs. But, um, I don't know. Maybe. I'm actually thinking for my Legend video of doing a commentary track for the first time. Because I didn't really do any event, like visual effects work and stuff. But there's like stuff that I had to chop and change. There's ideas that I had for Legend, which I wasn't able to do for various reasons. And I decided to change for what you saw in the finished product. So, yeah. I guess that's something that would be... I could see that people are interested in. It all depends. <laughs> it's not off the table. Certainly. I got a question. Favorite ice cream flavor? Cookie dough. Cookie dough ice cream. 
Anything with peanut butter in, basically. I fucking love peanut butter. Peanut butter good. Not so good if you're allergic, but if you aren't allergic and you like peanut butter, peanut butter good. Um, Nightmare in Vegas doesn't raise questions outside of the premise of the dinosaur, though. There's a dinosaur in that? Okay. Cookie dough for the win. Hey! The human enemies in Tomb Raider can be kind of dumb. Yes, and I love them. I love how dumb they are. The dumbest ones for me, though, are the ones in, in Last Revelation. The ones that, like, flop around that weird, like, bat lift looking thing and, um, stop your bullets from hitting them. But literally, if you turn around and put your guns away, they put it away very slowly, which gives you ample time to just circle back around, get your gun, and just shoot them in the chest with the shotgun and kill them. Caramel Choo Choo is, is awesome, Sarah says. That's very true. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Mint Choc Chip's good. I quite like Mint Choc Chip. Mint Choc Chip. There we go. Walla Walla Bing Bang. I'll conduct the interview and we'll get, uh, we'll drink it and it will be glorious. Wait, what? <laughs> uh -huh. What drink, you, what interview and what drink? <laughs> Good Lord. Are you saying that you're going to conduct an interview and you're just going to get me Oops, absolutely Amanda. plastered, Rob? Is that your, is that your master plan? Holy shit. Hi, and Jimmy, thank you. And Jesper Bruce with a hundred bits. Lara is still tripping from the floating islands related mercury poisoning. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, she's never going to have anything jade in her house ever again, really, is she? Come back here. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's the same dude. Okay, fine. I'll let you off game. Keep just running out like an absolute twat. <laughs> Stop it. You have the self-preservation skills of a sponge and a suicidal one at that. Oh, Hagen dazs Strawberry Cheesecake is quite a good one. I think Sarah's had that a few times. Hype train incoming, apparently. All aboard. And thank you very much for the 100 bits from pause break. Winston won't allow anything made of jade in the manor after Malara made, <laughs> made that order from Goop. Oh, God, Goop, why? <laughs> oh, that freaking Gwyneth Paltrow snake oil of a shop. I can't believe that. The place that literally sold someone... A Gwyneth Paltrow vagina scented candle, which exploded. And I don't know how, but it did, and it made the news. And thank you very much for the 10 bits, Raider Mama. But I still don't get where the market for that is, apart from the very gullible people. I just, yes, I just don't understand. <laughs> Goop is such a farce. Clearly, some very gullible pervs there. Even though it's not, it's probably but it was bought by a woman who probably just like thought, oh yeah, I've got to have all the uh, I've got to all have the mystic energy of Gwyneth Paltrow's vag distilled into a scent, and then aerated around my living room so the rest of my family can turn their noses up like I've just sprayed a whole ounce of black sex panther on my neck. What's Croft Rider got? Exceptional taste for? Exquisite taste. I've missed that. The, the chat scrolled up too much for, be able to, for me to be able to see. Uncharted Raider with 100 bits and also Moon Spirit. With the four bits in the question. Explodey vagina candle. Sounds symbolic somewhat. <laughs> What's in the box? It's my vagina. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's so, so very, very dumb. And look at my health. It's practically like a millimeter. It's non-existent. My health bar is empty visually, but I'm still, I'm still going. Imagine being killed by an exploding JJ candle. I would be streaming. I would be steaming for all eternity in hell. <laughs> Imagine that on your epitaph, yeah. Everyone's like crying and gathered around to sort of give their final sort of like goodbyes to sort of like send, to see you off at the at the cemetery, and on the headstone, one person's just like, they died or they lived with the exploding vagina candles, or just make some kind of, like, illusion to how they died being via Gwyneth Paltrow's exploding vag candle. What the fuck? 
Oh dear. I just love John Tron's episode on Goop because it highlights all the all the wacky products that they sell, this Goop place, and how it could be the most batshit insane sounding thing. And it would be real. It would be real. <laughs> it's 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 so crazy. Okay. Thank you. It's Sarah, everybody. Say hi. She doesn't normally sound like that. She's had a very tough day. What is this? This looks like something I should be driving through in a vehicle. And that looks like some kind of... Yeah. So they just like, got a wood texture and plastered the, um, the Soviet Russian army logo over the front of it. Nope, I can't Kool-Aid through it. Here comes Kool-Aid. What's even worse, that god-awful awful jilly juice thing a couple years back. What the fuck is jilly juice, Bridge? And do I want to know? Is there something you wish to share with the class? I need the snowmobile. I thought that's what it was. Because this looks like something that a snowmobile would come out of and then careening into something. Yep, there we go. The snow. Oh god, it's boulders. They're waiting for me. Oh shit. Maybe I shouldn't have gone through this way. Not yet, at least. I can't heal either because of uh, because of a, a certain challenger. I've got 12 minutes left on the no healing counter. And thank you very much for the bits, hi, and Jimmy. Thank you. So what are we on? Six, six, seven, two on the bit counter. Get ready to die a whole lot. Oh, thanks, Jesper Bruce. Um... Croft Rider mentioned how bubblegum ice cream is awesome, and I concurred. Yes, actually, I can also concur that. It is awesome. Raider Mama, thank you very much for the five bits. They're on 677. Ugh. Ugh. Porous rocks plus bacteria plus genitals equals infection. Are you giving some kind of, like, sex ed class there in the chat there? Pause break. Please explain yourself, Professor... Vag von Candle. <laughs> Candle von Vag, I should have said. I don't trust bubblegum ice cream. Why? Because it's bubblegum flavoured and you're, you're, you're instinctively told by several people, like your parents, to not swallow chewing or bubblegum. But it, like, it tastes so good. But when you get bubblegum ice cream, you can swallow it. So there's like a mental paradox going on in your head, I guess. Vanilla GT, 100 bits there. Gonna be lurking today. I wanted to send my appreciation for the Legend video. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And feel free to lurk here as what as long as you want to. You're always welcome. Evening all, evening Laurie, how is it going? Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> Jason! Jason! <laughs> oh god, someone Mr. H 3D for chat forch three. Some people, man, how do you come up with your usernames? Has just googled what Jilly Juice is. I don't... Jason! Do I want to know what Jilly Juice is? Or is Sarah going to have to do that and just, like, am I going to have to gauge what... How disgusting this thing is just based on her reaction? Uh -huh. Who's Amanda? Mr. H, much easier. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> what the... Oh. And in comes Mr. Snowmobile to just ruin my day. You don't want to know, Steve. Well, I do, because I want to know how disgusting this is. Ten minutes until I can heal. <clears throat> Avast kind of wants to know as well. Oh, God. Challenge Steve. Look it up. Okay, two seconds. Let me just climb this wall, because I've got to let go of this controller to be able to do that. I rarely eat gum. Yeah, me too, actually. I've kind of... I used to eat gum fairly frequently at times, but not enough to justify it being common. But yeah, I, used to, I enjoy it from time to time. I wouldn't go out of my way these days to get gum, but there we go. I think I'll stay blissfully ignorant. Yeah, I probably wouldn't blame me. But let's do that. I've been challenged too. So now we're going to bring my camera in for the uh, nice close up and personal facial results of me jilly juicing the Google. Um, what the fuck? 
Chili juice is a fermented drink and a form of alternative medicine that is claimed by its proponents to be able to cure an assortment of conditions, and here we go, you ready for this, including cancer, autism, as well as regenerate missing limbs, reverse the effects of aging, and cure homosexuality. And that's the picture I get when you, whenever you Google it. It looks like she's drinking a massive vat of piss. Is that Gwyneth Paltrow's piss that she's got in her glass? What the fuck, man? Yes, drink the gay away. That's the new thing the Vatican Church are going to start fucking spouting, aren't they? Good lord, some people are thick. I don't... <laughs> oh, God. In the words of Robbie Downey Jr. from Tropic Thunder, never go full retard. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Cure homosexuality. I'll be the judge of that. Okay, rap. Are you going to be our test, test subject then or something? Jesus Christ. Just don't even go there. Don't even go there. Is that my cup of jilly? Mo, it's my cup of regular tea. Thank you very fucking much. But imagine if um, if Snoop Dogg's famous hit was about jilly juice instead of gin and juice, and everyone was just been horrendously mishe mishearing the lyric for several years. Sipping on jilly juice, you know? Fucking hell. Uh, it's just like cabbage juice that turned into a cult. The fuck is cabbage juice? What, what rabbit hole are we going down? Stop it! <laughs> Sucking on my jillies. Oh, that's peaches, isn't it? Drink the gay away. <laughs> Want to listen to the peaches of peaches? Oh, God, stop. Right. <laughs> it's things like this that make me want to die. Indeed. Indeed, Red. Indeed. And thank you very much for the bits, Hi and Shimi. And shit. We've got 100 bits there from pause break. Rolling down the street, sipping in dough, sipping on jilly juice, laid back with my mind on my money and my money on curing homosexuality and regrowing limbs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so fucking stupid. Oh, thank you, Jesper. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Sucking on my jillies like you wanted me, calling me. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, stop it. Stop it, brain. See if you ever come to visit Bulgaria, I'll treat you to cabbage juice. It's damn good for hangover, especially. If I can travel just to any other part of the world, I will certainly come visit, like, all of you fuckers. I just want to go and see people again, you know? I just want COVID to piss off, respectfully. In fact, not respectfully. They could just piss off altogether. That'd be great. Okay. So as soon as I pick this shit up, we're going to get attacked by surprise motherfucker uh -huh. over here. Uh -huh. Yep, there he goes. And does anyone want to explain to me how the fuck he made it across to where I am now? <laughs> he definitely just appeared out of thin air, didn't he? Five minutes until I can heal myself. Plot twist, chili juice cures COVID. Don't give Gwyneth Paltrow any more ideas. Who <laughs> drinks chili juice? All right, bring out penis number one. <laughs> penis number one, do you want to step forward and say your name? Da -da -dun 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 -dun. Chili juice. Seriously, who comes up with this shit? Seriously. Uh -huh. You can't drink something to cure something you're born with. That'd be like saying, like, oh, I want to eat a I want to eat a fucking halloumi salad just to get rid of my hands, you know? It's just stupid. 
Jesper Bruce. TM. And thank you very much for the bits, Hein Jimmy. Right, I think I'm going to wait until I can actually heal before I actually go pick that stuff up. Because as soon as I pick this stuff up, it's just going to be like John Cena on a fucking snow sled driving up and shooting me. Funny how you British say penis. Uh, like, <laughs> it's like pain ass. Is it really case man dog? I don't say pain ass. If I'm going to say pain ass, I will say pain ass. <laughs> I think I actually think we say penis better than um, anyone like you yanks do. Right in the right in the penis. Especially, a penis with a southern drawl is is quite a funny thing to hear. God penis. damn, that's right in my penis. I like that as well. Thank you, Long John Baldry. May you rest forever in in pepperoni. Okay, time to crack out the big... Oh, okay. So I've got two minutes. If anyone wants to challenge me to heal, now's the time to do it. <laughs> Penis. Who's Amanda? <laughs> I don't know. Has anyone got the answer? Who's Amanda? Ah, oh, Taranetta, you are still here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to... <laughs> the Albino Rhino 91 Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Amanda made Jilly Juice to get back at Lara. <laughs> it does look rather homemade, doesn't it, Jilly Juice? Like you went to a clinic and they asked for a, a, a sample, but you kind of really, really misunderstood what the criteria for what a sample pot was. And just ended up using the biggest mason jar you could find. Just finished up a reading a Voyager story. Uh, but had my stream in the background all this time. Awesome. I'm going to need a sample. Oh yes, you mean jelly juice. No. <laughs> Not quite. Broken Martian. Thank you for the 50 bits. I don't know why um, she named it jelly juice. I don't even think it's Gwyneth Paltrow that made this, is it? No, according to Sarah. So I have no fucking clue. And um, Norsk is asking, of course, the important questions to Terranetta. Was it a sexy Voyager fanfic? Or was it just a normal story? With science! I think Lara's legs might be a bit... No. Jilly. Ha 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 ha. Right. I'm gonna pick this up. Uh -huh. I'm ready for you. Come get me. Oh god, she's shooting back. What do I do? Quickly, drive into the nearest wall I can. Excellent. Excellent. And we got a, we got a snowmobile now with its own gun turrets on. It's 42 seconds until I can heal. <laughs> Terranetta, he's asking, the bridge is asking if Terranetta's heard all the Jilly Juice stuff. If not, she can watch the VOD back. Mesa Amanda. JJ Binks. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Such pulse pounding music to accompany Lara struggling to get round a corner. There we go. Hey, now I can heat. Heat, heal. Now I can heal. Thank you, everybody. And thank you for the challenge. Uh -huh. uh, Gwyneth's candle is sold out, a friend told you. Oh, really, doopy doo. <laughs> we want you to source it yourself. Imagine if scalpers. Imagine if scalpers bought all the supply of Gwyneth Paltrow's Vag Candle. Imagine that being a thing. And thank you, Hein Chimi, for the bits, by the way. Do, do, do. Feel the heat. Yep, 
Yeah, that music is great, isn't it? So over the top, considering the action that was happening on screen was just very lame. John Cena! That's actually hurting me as well. So I can I can't shoot it, I can't drive into it. Oh, good lord. Hey, thank you very much for the 64 bits there. For the jilly beans. <laughs> god, please don't let that be a thing. Jilly beans. Oh god. The perfect family snack. God damn, he dead. He ain't gonna be in Tomb Raider 3. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> what? what just happened? <laughs> Skidoo does what Skidoo don't. Oh, thank you very much for the 100 bits there, Jesper Bruce. Oh. <laughs> Candy King with the Who's Amanda? Dead, 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 dead. Oh god, and we're all the way back here. <sighs> nice hang time. Yeah, I, sh I feel like I should have some, like, Tony Hawk scoreboard thing underneath there when I'm doing tricks with that thing. Aha. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh -huh. Sounds like Judith Gibbons trying to push a rather difficult shit out. I feel strong. Judith, clench. Eat some bananas. Get some roughage. Uh -huh. Fiber. The trust pilot reviews for Jilly Juice are amazing. Oh, please. Is it anything like the Veet hair removal cream for men Amazon reviews? Because if it is, I am going to read some out because I reckon some of them are fucking hysterical. Uh -huh. Hold still. This won't hurt a bit. Just a little off the top there, good sir. Yes. They recorded audio of Judith taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's um automatic pistol ammo up there I didn't see before. Oh, don't bring up blue waffle into this for fuck's sake. We've had enough. <laughs> oh, another one from another challenge there from Broken Martian pistols only for the next 30 minutes including the turrets. Including the turrets on Ski Mobile. So that means I can't use the turrets or can. Just so I'm clear. I have a habit of misunderstanding this stuff. Okay, here we go. 30 Minutons. Starting from now. Is it? No, it's not like a flavor. It's a flavor you would. You would. Okay, can't. It's a flavor you would never want to ever, 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 ever taste. That's all much as I'll tell you. I'll let Google teach you the rest. Oh, goodness. This has been a really fun stream so far. Hi, and Jimmy. Thank you very much for the couple of bits there. I haven't seen those, but I assume, yes, they're ripping it to pieces. Some are hilarious. Excellent. Excellent. Awesome. Oh my god, guys, we have landed on Mars. Have we? You can't punch a hole in Mars. <laughs> Steve, you said, ah, I'm still here. Did you ask me something and I missed it? No, I just didn't see you in the chat for a while, so I'm just wondering where you were, if you were still okay. If you were lurking. Champions. 
Give them a challenge, they said. It would be fun, they said. Ah, okay, yep, yeah, that's essentially it. Oh god, I'm back here. Fuck it. Flesh waffle. Oh god, no. That's an old school st stream reference, and I love it. Yes, it's a very old school stream Spikes. reference. That was actually from un Unfinished Business, I'm pretty sure. Get your ass to Mars. Come on, Cohagen. You got what they want. Give these people ear. Cool party. Different movie, but still. Uh, best A55 eater. Oh, it's supposed to be ass, isn't it? Very clever. Welcome. Oh, eater of ass. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> the kitty room. Right, this is going to suck because I could just get run into like that. See. <laughs> Fucking macho broccoli goons. Angel Ash, thank you very much for the bits. And also, hi, and Jimmy, thank you so much. Seeding waffle mixing with the flesh tunnel somehow became flesh waffle if memory serves. Yes, it was. It was that, um, it was that waffle shaped, um, structure that was in one of the levels where I did a massive swan dive into. That really epic dive, which I think someone clipped. Macho broccoli. Bathroom sparkly. Charles Barkley. Uh. 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 <laughs> God damn. That's so iconic. This is me just. Spice. Gwyneth's Candly. <laughs> Gwyneth's Candly. You unsavory little. Vagina Candly. <laughs> Smell disgustingly. <laughs> Vag explodily. <laughs> uh -huh. He's just going to drive into a corner, isn't he? What a twat. <laughs> Oi, come back. I'm not finished with you yet. God, those turrets really rinse through your fucking health, don't they? God damn you with this challenge. Magic. What skills this man doth have? Please, Steve, I'm eating my mac and cheese. I'm sorry, I can't help the food that you're eating at this time. Get with the program, Norsk. You know not to eat and stream. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's the Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch looking motherfucker line that gets me every time. That's what they look like. If you literally look at any of Marky Mark's early music videos, it's just it's just abs and sh and vests and hats. <laughs> they like hats, but it's just yeah. It's all I think of when I see that. All I think of. Wouldn't surprise me if that was what they based those character designs off of in a, in a, in a little bit. If Nina Cherry was uh, the basis for some of, like, some of Lara's early designs, then it wouldn't be surprised me if they took inspiration from other pop culture. Can I please have someone add a caveat to this challenge so I can actually use these gun turrets um, guns? Because I don't think I'm going to have much luck with just my fucking pistols. Ah, yes, abs and vests and hats. My favorite combination. Right, well, let's see how I get on with this. This sl slappy-ass music. 
What the fuck? I don't even- did I just touch him and he killed me or something? Damn it. Iron Shimmy, thank you very much for the bits. Um, I'll be back. Dad's not feeling too good. You take as much time as you need, Rob. You take as much time as you need. Yes, finally! You can use the guns on the snowmobile. Thank you! Thank you, Raider Mama. You're my f new favorite person. <laughs> on the stream, of course, Sarah. She's like, fuck you! Hey, cool. Thank you for the five bits there. Uh, full... Full the snow... Full the has snowmobile. Full the has snowmobile with jilly juice and go get him. Oh, fill it with jilly juice. Okay. If you, if you say so, if you insist. For the love of God, what's the point of me even being in this place with this thing? Okay, so that literally does end in a dead end. I thought there might have been something there. But no, nope, it's just death. <laughs> Yay. <coughs> oh, you can f fangirl all you want. Just appreciate everyone being here. Do -do 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 -do. Ah! Here comes Kool-Aid. What have we got here? Hey, Gaby One confesses and uh, thank you very much for the host and sub Russian. Thank you. Hosting with 16 people watching. Thank you. Hello to all of you 16 people. It is me, Steve, your new overlord. Ha ha ha. I literally have no idea what I'm doing, but welcome. <laughs> Hope you're having a good time. Ah, oh, your Egyptian adventure shirt has been shipped. Excellent. Drums, drums, drums. Hey, Red, thank you very much for the host for you, too. Thank you, man. Hmm. Okay, interesting. And the music has stopped. Thanks, Nathan. <laughs> How you doing, Sub Russian? What was it you were playing before you, uh, before you hosted me? If you were, are you streaming tonight? Drums, drums in the darkness. Mm. Thank you very much for the bits, Andrew. What are we doing at the moment? How are we doing? 1,119 bits on the Winston Freezer Fund. Excellent. So we've got to find a way of opening this door. Because for some reason I can't shoot through this rather open and clearly shootable window. In real life, but there we go, Tomb Raider logic. There's me going to apply, <laughs> trying to apply sense again. Boulders! Incoming! And the screen decided to have a fit. <laughs> ah, there we go. So the guy's basically like, what's going on here? Who's, who's made all these boulders appear? I've got to investigate for some reason. Who <laughs> does He's dead. Uh -huh. And now I have his stuff. Hooray. Let's save. Apart from falling off edge, you actually died on the ski mobile in the way the game leads you to doing so. Yes, it does actually kind of mislead you into thinking that that's where you're supposed to go. <laughs> Croft Rider is Croft Rider just like, there's a secret nearby! <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you for the heads up. I will. Who's Amanda? I will go look for that secret that is apparently nearby. Whoa, what the fuck is that? 
There is a moth. I barely have left. I'm getting attacked, attacked by the outside world. Send help. Ugh, Mothra, strike. So clearly I'm supposed to go down there. Somehow. Somewhere. There must be some kind of lever. There we go. Uh, did I kill the moth? No, I did not kill the moth. I just shut the window. It is probably behind the curtain somewhere. And I completely missed where that opened because I wasn't paying attention. Anyone want to help? Oh, hang on. You unsavory little c**t. Two seconds. I've just got to swim into this ice cold water. You're as cold as ice. Right. So that literally leads nowhere. It's just an air pocket. Sweet. The Mothman prophecy commences. God damn, no. <laughs> in Tomb Raider 3, Willard falls into a pit of jelly juice, and that's how he's able to transform into a giant mutant spider. Okay. If he were to drink jelly juice too, he'd become just like Willard the spider. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, Tomb Raider 3 is all about the creation of jelly juice, everyone's favourite soda. Deviant Vaney. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the War Clan. This looks like a rather interesting area, doesn't it? Is that Uzi Ado up there? Ooh, and grenades. Ooh, fun stuff. I don't have either weapon. Yet. Let me just do some exploring before I uh, fully go off. And thank you very much for the bits there, Jester Sox. Uh, it's the location with the ice people. Ice people! <laughs> we are the ice people! Right, so apparently um, someone said that there was a secret nearby. So... Where was that? I pulled a lever and it opened something. And I wasn't, a I wasn't looking and I missed the cutscene that it showed me where that lever opened. So... I have no idea where to go. <laughs> no, that's Willy Juice. Ew. Ah, yes, it opened this. Of course. Okay. Another lever, I think. No, actually. Nothing here. He's just phased into the wall. We'll leave him be. He looks like he's having a tough day of being dead. <laughs> Fucking hell. 94 people are watching me right now. No pressure. <laughs> Uh-oh. Rut row. Uh-oh. This isn't good. So you want to know how I got here? So good job I saved. Oh god. 94 Jilly Juice fanatics. No! Stop mentioning Jilly Juice! We're, we're coming to 100. Ah, just as I said that, they left. Ooh, flares. Yes, please. How about Eggman juice? Oh god, what does that supposedly cure? Let's go for a hundo. Let's drop those balloons. Yes, it would have been the first ever time that the channel would have hit 100 viewers if that was ever the case. That would be amazing. Hmm. Okie dokie. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Right, is there anything down here? No. I can hear someone heavily breathing, though. A bit ominous. Sentinels. Oh. Oh, for the love of... 
Uh, I hate it when that does that. If I press the X button and the menu button at the same time, for some reason there's like a keyboard sh Amanda? shortcut to tab me out. I'm just thinking... Oh god, why? Right. I want to heal. Steve. Gotta go, Steve. I need a nap. I need to go uh, get to work on these icy roads. No worries, Moon Spirit. Thank you very much for joining what you could and have a good nap, my friend. Stay safe, man. Well, what's he got? He has health. Hmm. Thank you for the bits um, there, Ariska. Or Aska. Arse. <laughs> A nap? What's a nap? It's that thing that you don't get to do anymore, Jason, because you have a child. Whoa, what the fuck? Strobes? 50 bits from pause break, thank you. Shimmer is sucking all the jilly juice out the planet. <laughs> Hell. Ah, uh, Shimmer are putting chemicals in the water to turn the frickin' livestream gay. Alex Jones, 2021. Oh, what the? Oh no. Oh god. Out the way! Let me just stop whilst I'm doing this high speed chase section to pick up this little med kit, please. Have I missed this secret, by the way? Uh -huh. Is my, um, is my secret person, my se- my- uh -huh. my croft rider fairy kicking around so I can have some help? I did. Oh no, does it mean I can... I've got... How many time? How much time have I got left until I can get the secret? Until I have my guns again? 11 minutes until I can use other... I think guns other than P. Um, it was in the Ice Palace. Oh, do you know what? I'll, I'll reload that in that case. Just in case I can't go back. Right, so let's go back before we do the skidoo. Sorry everyone, that music is an absolute bop. Still way better than the Tomb Raider Sweet version, in my opinion. The original. It's the techno stuff that makes it. I don't know what it is with the mixing with the TR Sweet version of the Skidoo. But the drums and everything, which are the most prominent part of the Skidoo, um, they just kind of get lost. So it's just kind of all becomes a bit too, too quiet and underwhelming. Same with the Tomb Raider 3 version of the theme as well. It's like the drums should be more powerful. Sounding than they actually are. Okay, we're in the ice pass. So let's let's do some icicle stuff, people. Ooh. There's a testicle joke to be made here somewhere, isn't there? Your favourite section and puzzle of all of Tomb Raider 2? Really? Okay. I've got balls of steel. <laughs> balls, balls, balls. Right, let me just save this so I don't have to do all that backtracking to get to here again. Sav. I fell into the ditch in the skidoo and didn't die. I was just stuck in the hole. <laughs> With that music pounding as well, it would have been really funny. Dunch, dunch, dunch. So exciting. No, it isn't. Stuck. Please help. Okay. First things first. Finding where to climb you up. You unsavory little c***. All right, Joe. Now I don't have to be so mean. God, I've got feelings. Okay, so you said it was a puzzle. So we're gonna work out how to, I guess those things fall out in a certain sequence. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Ah, <laughs> that's what the puzzle is. Okay. 
God damn it. Oh, no. I fucked that up. I fucked it. Let's reload it. Let's try it again. Steve of War. Oh, God. <laughs> Hi, and Jimmy. Thank you very much for the bits. So what do you want? 1,207 in the freezer fund. Awesome. First part done. Second part. Run! What the fuck? Are those invisible ice people? Wait, what the hell? Oh, damn. What are those things? They are, they're invisible ice people. The balls dropped and shit just got deeper. Thank you, puberty joke, thank you. Thank you very much, thank you. Right, if I drop from there, it's going to hurt. Oh, thanks, game. I didn't even want to do that, you f stupid POS. All right. Okay. <laughs> it just didn't grab that ledge for whatever reason. Great. Hmm. Whoop, there it goes. That's a Tibetan monk. Okay, I'm just killing invisible monks now. Fucking squawking bastards. There we go. The holy scrotum of Tibet has dropped. And we shall now continue our mystic quest. <laughs> Do your monk voice impression again. It's hilarious. It's just literally just sound like a squawking idiot. And that's basically your impression. Aye! <laughs> oh, oh! It's, it's really weird. They sound like... They sound like really dumb seagulls. Oh, oh! Yeah, look at them. See-through boys. Hi, and Jimmy, thank you very much for the bits. And also, thank you very much to Pause Break for the 20 bits there. Thank you. Two, one, two, two, nine. Oh. Right. What to do? Nah. Got to get down to the floor somehow. It's not going to let me grab that ledge, is it? For whatever reason, it's just not going to fucking do it. Yeah, like someone buggering an albatross is what I said in the video, wasn't it? Interfering with an eagle. I feel stronger now. Uh-oh. Ouch. That sounded painful. Uh, do I have any thoughts on the Cruella de Vil live-action movie? It's a movie. I just hope they don't turn her into a sympathetic character like they did with Melis Maleficent. But we shall see. Right. Let's go this way. Your Yorkshire still needs work. I know. I know. But I can do a really good liquid snake impression. Apparently. I shouldn't go down this way. It might lead to death. I feel stronger now. Yeah, for Maleficent it made more sense, but Corella, she just wants to kill puppies for a for a fur coat. When's our Jafar movie? When's our Iago movie? You know, voiced by Gilbert Godfrey. Please, Disney. 
give us what we want. <laughs> can I pull off a Jamaican accent? Beer can. There we go. Welcome to Jamaica. Array. Uh -huh. <laughs> by the way, if anyone's seen that video of Jesse from Little Mix trying to do a Jamaican accent, by the way, um, it's the funniest fucking shit ever. And it's also the most puzzling thing ever because the sound she makes to start with is just so intelligible. It's like, what is it? Why? <laughs> I might even make it a sound effect for this soundboard for this streams because it's just so dumb. Okay, so we're back here. Rolling around at the speed of ice. Got places to go bid. Right. Two minutes left until I can use other guns. Invisimunks must die. I wonder if they'll try to justify her killing puppies. Yeah, they might do it, might they? Oh, god damn. I need to be able to use um better weapons, methinks. God damn. Thank you for the bits, Angel, Ash, and High and Chimi. I love you guys tonight. You've been so, so nice to me. It's been a real pleasure. I wonder how they'll try to just um, justify the lack of Glenn Close. Um, she's old. I don't know. <laughs> hey? She's one of the producers, apparently, according to Sarah. Who has her finger off the pulse of IMDB as we speak. I know, she just knew that. She knows these things. She's like Tyrion. She drinks and she knows things. Except it's tea. Except it's tea. And she's five foot. <laughs> arr, arr, arr. Be nice to the invisible monks. Well, if they attack me first, I'm not going to not fight back. That's all I'm saying, Jester, um, Jesper Bruce, no matter how many bits you give me. Right. Who's going to clean up this mess? But thank you for the bits, though. <laughs> I drink Earl Grey and I know things. <laughs> These look like boulder holes. Who shot first? Oh, it's not a question. It's not a question of who shot first, Laurie. It's a question of who shot full stop. If you know, if you know your Star Wars. Oh, hello. What the fuck? Um, am I racing against a fucking snow leopard or something? This, I feel like I, I'm at a... Oh, okay. No, it's just... It's just really anxious to eat me. Boulder glory holes. Ew. No, 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 no. Nothing like that, dear boy, at all. Nothing like that. <gasps> 15 seconds and then I can use proper weapons. Three, two... One. Excellent. Thank you very much for the challenge there. Curse cured their visibility and regrew limbs. <laughs> Thanks, Ginny Juice. Yeah, this legitimately was pointless. Okay, cool. I don't know why monks are invisible in this, Avast. You're asking a very, 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 very important question. And unfortunately, at this moment in time, don't have an answer to. Because the devs. Oh no, hang on. There we go. It's not quite as pointless as I thought. Raina Mama, thank you very much for the, for the five bits. Zabin. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the War Clan. Uh, uh, uh. Is killing an invisible bloke still murder? I think you're asking a question along the lines of if a tree falls down in the woods and no one's around to hear it. Does it still make a sound? Ah! All that just to get back up here. I see, gang. I see you. And thank you very much, Marconi1512, for the follow there. Little shortcut there. If you just rapidly tap grab when you're going down a ladder in the classic games, you just basically... You can, you can go down ladders really no. super quickly.
Right. We are back in the ice palace. Supposedly. Not much of a palace, really. It's just a bit of a bit of a fancily arranged mess, really. Like someone's hoarding ice. Every time I shatter glass like this in this game, I just think I'm playing the intro to fucking Steve Austin coming on stage. It's like... Ah, Sir Daniel Fortescue. Uh-oh. Uh oh, fuck. Okay. Well, they just fucking came out of nowhere, didn't they? It's time to unleash hell. Come on. Just stand there, Lara, and take the punishment. You will win eventually. Yes. Yes, the power. Uh -huh. Oh, Norsk is off. Gotta go. Bye bye, guys. No worries, Norsk. Thank you for joining for what you could. It's been a pleasure to have you as always. My lady dude. My lady bro dude. Uh -huh. And thank you, Hi and Chimi and Asuka. For the uh, for the bits there, more donations to the Winston Freezer Fund. <laughs> da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Right, so now I have Sir Dan's Sir Dan Fortescue's skull. We can now escape. I like this area a lot. Collecting the secret actually felt rewarding. Yes, actually, I'd have to say that's a really cool way of rewarding. Um, people going for secret hunting in this. It seems, it makes it, like, secrets in the Tomb Raider games, like the classic ones, have just felt like, it's a, it's a platforming challenge, and at the end of it, you got little rewards to say, sort of like, well done. But that one actually felt like, oh, you've actually got a little bit of a secret, complete new part of the level to to explore, and a new, like a brand new puzzle to, to try and solve to get to that. As well as a unique fight. That actually felt quite good. Yes, and the um, T-Rex, the two T-Rexes you fight in this in the Great Wall level was quite an interesting one. was not expecting that at all, as you could probably tell by my uh, reaction on the video. If everyone remembers the scream I made, which I'm not going to replicate for you. I can't. <laughs> 80 bits. Thank you very much there, Alex. Completed a platforming puzzle for a reward of Jilly. Stop it! <laughs> God damn it. It's nothing sacred. Is nothing sacred. Right, here we go. Uh, Steve, have I played Lost Artifacts? No, I haven't. That will be next on my list of things to play at some point. Okay. Lots of heavy breathing from coming from beyond that. Zabin has subscribed. Welcome to the War Clan, fun. Welcome. If you head on over to Discord and link your Twitch accounts up together, you can get some special VIP perks for you there. Access early access to my like scripts, reviews, etc., etc., outtakes, all kinds of cool shit. Uh -huh. Hope you enjoy. And also, you get to use some macho broccoli emojis as well as some others as well. just heal myself. Highland Fling is my favourite Tomb, Tomb Raider level, hands down. Okay. Does one, one of the levels take place in Scotland, then? You like the outtakes, do you, Rapwins? I do, too. Right, here we go, everybody. Boulders! Boulders everywhere! Just uh, stop this high octane pursuit. And oh, okay. Excuse me. So I just want to. I just want to talk to you about our Lord and Savior, Large Med Kit. Uh -huh. Thank you. Oh.
Come on, Lara, you got what you want. Give these people bullets. Okay, cool. So where's the key? <laughs> have I picked up a key yet, or have I got to go back and find one? When you don't have flares, make your own light source. Yeah, the music is always great in these games. Yeah, where's the key? Am I missing a key from somewhere? No, no. Yeah, I am. Fuck. Okay. I'll check the guards just in case. Yes! Key and grenades. Okay, cool. Shaft B key. What's incredible about this evening was I've still got like about 80 people watching me tonight, which is just incredible statistics. Never had that many people. I feel stronger. Which just shows really how popular this particular expansion must be with people. This must be. I've, I've truly, I've been missing out. <laughs> Where am I? Ah, levers. All we have to do is plug jelly juice. Uh, jelly juice and it just keeps the people coming. Oh dear. Oh, good lord. It is Tomb of Ash. <laughs> nah, dear, we just like your greasy face. When did you show up? You and your greasy ass. <laughs> Let me in! Damn it. A few minutes ago. Ah, okay. Thank you for the bits there, Oscar. Just heal. And hi and Chimi as well. Thank you. What's he got? What's he got in his foot? So I haven't got the grenade launcher. I've got ammo for it though. I've got Uzi ammo, I think. Or did I miss that earlier? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Seeing all the wrinkles in 4K. Ha! You think I have a 4K camera? That's cute. You think I can afford one? Jesus Christ, no. Oh, god damn it. Fucking controls. There we go. All oh, tabbed me out of my own game. There we go. Uh -huh. Yeah, Judith um, Gibbons would be an interesting one to get an interview with Ash. wonder what she's doing with herself these days. Oh. Who's Amanda? And extinct. <laughs> uh. Here's more guards heavily breathing around the vicinity. Ooh, okay. Clearly that's where I've got to go. Oh, Bridge is continuing the gift sub they got from Uncharted. Excellent, dude. Yes, I do have Uzi clips. Okay. That's the noise they're making, isn't it? Ah, Uzi Manda. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Hi and Jimmy. Oh, uh, ooh. 
I think this is a swan dive moment, don't you? This looks like it. Let's save. Get your clipboards ready. Okay. This can go one of two ways. Really well or really badly. Who's betting what? How come I can't sidestep in this? Or is that not something that they could... I'm sure you could do that in Tomb Raider 1. I'm holding, I'm holding the right button down. Oh, no. That was pathetic. Let's do that again. Again! You can see what I was trying to go for, though, right? Deathgosten. Okay. And now for the gold medal for England. Stephen. Ah, oh, no, it's too far away. Damn, I'll just do a regular one then. Two seconds. She can run while shooting with two easies, but at the same time can't run while shooting an M16. Yes. Ah, oh, damn it. I will get this. I will get a nice clean swan dive down there. Mark my feckin' words. Okay, let's give this a try. And a one, and a two, and a three. Oh, maybe it's impossible. Zero out of ten, no medal for Miss Croft. No, she didn't qualify for the uh, COVID Olympics. Is you okay? <laughs> I, I is, I think? <laughs> Question mark. One more step back would have done it. All right then, Perkins. Just because you said that, I'm going to reload it and try again. <laughs> Why not? I'm all holding you here hostage. And a one. And a two. <clears throat> no, that wasn't... That wasn't um, near enough at all. That was too far back still. I'm determined to feckin' do this. About here, I reckon. Possibly. Possibly. Oh, she just... Damn it. I know what I can do. I'll do it on a corner. Because she keeps... She keeps bumping herself on the... Uh, on the wall. So let's try and do it where I don't bump myself. Like from this corner, for example, would be quite a good one, I reckon. Laura, no. Laura's more of a Tonya, Tonya Harding than anything. Did you just say Laura? Okay. Fuck's sake. <laughs> How come I can't sidestep? What's wrong? What's going on with the controls in this? Okay. Let's try this angle here. No or not. Apparently. Okay. <laughs> Bastard! Nearly! Bastard. And thank you very much for the bits, Hi and Chimi. Okay. <laughs> Why? Oh, what? Okay, one more time and then I'll continue. So fucking close. Bastard. It's the best way to pronounce that word. I just want to tell you all good luck. We're all counting on you. Why can't I sidestep? I 
I reckon if I take one more step back, that's going to mean I'm too far back. All right, let's see if this happens. Uh, yeah, it's too far back. One more. Hey, gift sub there for Broken Martian. Thank you very much, Uncharted Raider. Yeah, it doesn't work for some reason, and maybe there's something wrong with my control setup, perhaps. Definitely remember being able to do it. Okay. <sighs> right. Okay, I'm going to have to give up. That's that's as close as I can get with that. I might keep that save file so I can I can clip it later. Just keep repeatedly trying until it works. Yeah, R2 plus left and right in the controller, but R2 on my controller at the moment seems to be giving out flares. It took me just almost exactly an in-game time of an hour there. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. All three secrets. Uh, brilliant. Ammo used 2,267. Okay, let's save properly now. Sav. Unless it's pick perfect, but it's not really time well spent. I beg to differ. Oh, we got the industrial soundtrack. How did she get in here? <laughs> Oscar, thank you very much for the um, for the 10 bits there. And also hi and Jimmy as well. So what are we on? We in Russian base. Look, it's Stalin, man. Oh, dogs. Sorry, doggo. The guy sounds like he's throwing up. Just a wee bit. Automatic pistols. They're so good, these fucking weapons. <laughs> the USSR anthem plays really loudly. Hiya, Moo, Steve, pushing me. Interesting. Uh, pub. Yes. <laughs> I know our Russian, yes. Should I keep my mouth shut from shouting about secrets? No. Please, you're helping me. I want to, I want to play Nightmare in Vegas. Uh -huh. Mienkov. Mienikov. Yeah. I hope that's at least vaguely right there, Ash. Pull the lever, Lara. More bits from Hai and Chimi. Thank you. Oh god, this looks like an absolute bastard. If these blocks are movable. Okay. Thank you very much, Gimmick Guns. How's your... Oh, shit. Flamethrower, dude. And I'm on fire. God damn. Okay. Fool's gold, eh? I'll be the judge of that. I think that's pretty spot on, Steve. Shame about the shoulder buttons. <laughs> Get used to them in this level. Oh, great. Awesome. Keep a jar of water handy. Uh, 
And I'm trapped. Oh, great. I shouldn't have walked in here, should I? The flamethrower guys can eat a bag of Ginny juice. Ugh. Stop, drop, and roll, Steve. Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> if the need occurs for it, I certainly will. Use some random posters here for texture, as far as I recall. As far as I know, that guy pointing is from World War One and World War Two poster. Makes sense. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh snake. Industrial noises. Can you tell we're in industrial place because of industrial noise? Yes. How industrial. Wow, so industrial, senpai. Time for me to go, but I just wanted to thank you once again for making me laugh the hardest and almost a year. Steve Streams never disappoint one bit. Oh, thanks, Bridge. I really appreciate that. I hope to see you again on the next one. Have a good one, man. Thank you very much for watching. It's always great to have you here. Oh, flamethrower, buddy. No, no, no. Two of them. God, they go down quick with these things, don't they? Which is good. I don't want them to not, but, you know. <laughs> Dead. Thank you very much, Hi and Chimi. Let's get these health picks. Uh -huh. Health picks from them. If I ever do my own stream, you'll just see me running and screaming in terror from the flamethrower people. Fully justified running and screaming terror there. Can I get out now? No, I can't. Where do I go? <laughs> Please tell me, game. Beware the duck. What? Old deck. <laughs> beware the duck. Yes, beware the duck, everybody. Back. Okay, try that again. Wank. <laughs> I'm liking Tomb Raider Thursdays. This is a great stream concept. It's working so far quite well. Especially considering that I've like peaked at about nearly 90 people watching my, my stupidity. Uh, is this Soviet base in Alaska where CIA practices the false flag operations? <laughs> I read it once on my QAnon blog, <laughs> he seems to say. Ah, cool, we're back here. Angel Ash, thank you very much for the cheers. Don't mind me, I'm just about to get violently piped by the lead singer of System of a Down. Uh, I'm okay for now. I think. Let's just save, actually. I just want to know what factory they got this fucking sound effect from. Like, this Atmos track is just like... 
someone pushing the, like around the squeakiest wheel cart I've ever fucking heard in my life, but trying to be very quiet about it, which in turn has made it louder. Uh -huh. Why do you leave the red eggs on the table? <laughs> Oh, there we go. He dated. Um, he dated. I was catching up with the chat. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh, snake. Shotgun shell. Is it gonna trap me in here? Run, run, Lara, run. Who's Amanda? I don't know. Ask your mum. I don't know, I like the industrial sound. I just find some of it quite, kind of funny. It's kind of what my brain thinks of sometimes. <laughs> Letting you have a window into my psyche there. <laughs> Stay a while, why don't you? Uh -huh. um, missed any secrets, by the way, in this particular level? I have no idea, but the last level we got all of them. Steve! What do you want? Um, you don't put the auto in... If you got the auto patch there, Uncharted, um, don't put it in the game directory. Just, hey, you just run the installer, and it, and if as long as you point it to where you've got the game installed, it should do the work for you, mate. Angelash, thank you very much for the sub. Welcome to the War Clan. And thank you very much, Uncharted, there for the 100 bits. But then again, if you read the guides that are with the on the Steam page, probably be the best thing to do. They're quite extensive. Easy to understand. All that jazz. Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> Am I dead? Nearly dead. You wanted to. Raider Mama, thank you very much for the singular bit. Fuck you, vultures. I think they're vultures. I think they're vultures. I have no freaking clue anymore. Uh, I installed the auto update and then the Steam Overlay is fixed. That's what gave me working PS4 controller support. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. As long as the Steam, uh, Steam Overlay works, um, then you can get controller support. For any game, you can even add non-Steam... Um, Steam activated games to Steam as well. And as long as the overlay is working for that, then you can have um, injected PS4 controller support. They're a bit big for crows, don't you think? Oh shit. Condors, maybe condors. Light of the condor. It feels new. It feels bad. <laughs> two minutes. These are normally Ch Chernobyl crows. Yes, they've had them specially imported from Chernobyl to live in a much more hospitable habit habitat, free of radiation. Interesting death animation she has there when she's holding the M16. She just kind of dies like an extra from like the film Commando. I like it. A few more minutes left, and then the stream will end. Are albino snow leopards black? I think that's a panther. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm um, just got to work. I'm beyond. I'm beyond pissed. Thank you so much, everyone. You're you're angry that you got it to work, or you just like it made you beyond pissed. Ugh. Thank you for the bits there, Oscar. Perhaps an African European swallow. 
An unladen swallow. Okay. Healing. Healing. I pull Glevor for great benefit of Soviet Russia. I just feel dumb. All right, okay. We all get that. We all get that sometimes, mate. I wouldn't worry too much. There's something up there. Let me just go get that. Oh, it's a star keyhole thing. I, I need I need communism to open this door. <laughs> Skelly Ellie, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Hope you're doing okay, Skelly Ellie. Sorry, Fido. It's either going to be you or me. I chose me. Uh, don't forget to check back on the move of crates from the flamethrower guy for a secret. Right, gotcha. I'll go back there in a minute and just exploring. I am exploring. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Actually, let me do that now whilst I think about it. And I think that'll be a good point to finish the stream for the evening. Interesting cinematic camera angle. Thank you very much for fucking up my movement. In Soviet Russia, level explores you. Oof. That was my knee. Friday community streams is drinking nights. I can just sit back. I'll sit in the bath watching a Steve stream, chain smoking and casually making my way through a bottle of gin. Mate. I wish I could join you over that. Not necessarily in the bath, but in the drinking and the smoking. And the gin. <sighs> or maybe. Maybe I do. <laughs> is there room enough for two? No, the door's shut. Damn you, communist and communist Soviet Russia. Ah, oh, damn. I think I've missed that then. Oh no, hang on. Let me just. You right? What are you looking for? Second draw down. No, nope, third draw. It's definitely there somewhere. Why? Oh, cool. Um, Sarah's Animal Crossing me. The benefit of two switches. Now, why did I do that? I can't get back in now. Ugh. Right, prepare to hear the sound of constipation, everybody. Severe and thorough. Do you know what? I've not actually been in a bath for years. I've never, like, we have a shower here, so obviously, I obviously clean myself. But it's like a bath, an actual bathtub is something that I haven't had the pleasure of using in a very long time. Maybe I need a spa weekend. Somewhere. Okay. Clearly, there's something I'm missing. Baths are for winter, showers are for summer. Clearly. Oh, come on. So I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to move this. Maybe I'll just pull it completely out of the room. I think that sounds like a sensible answer, doesn't it? Let's do that. There's no such word that's written on the crate, you're saying, Ash? What? Uh, nothing at all like that in Russia. Brilliant. So I might as well just be like, rah, 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 and then it reads. <laughs> Brilliant. Boxmen. <coughs> Excuse me. Do, do, do. Damn it. I pressed that button for sprint. 
It doesn't have sprint in this game. Gosh darn it. Okay, that can just stay there. Oof. Ah, brilliant. M16 ammo. Uh -huh. Perfect place for it, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Steve, when Corona is over, um, can we all just go out from, on the lash together one night instead of a community stream? <laughs> wouldn't that be amazing? Ooh! Uh -huh. Communist gold! <laughs> Yay! Stalin's secret stash. Fuck you, communism. Get, get shit, <laughs> apparently. Right. I think that's going to have to do for tonight. Saving game. Right, let's take it to the chat. Oh. Let's put some music back on. Oh. Well, tonight has been an interesting one, and I have loved every single second of it as well. And I hope that you've enjoyed it too. And I'm very much looking forward to playing the rest of this goddamn DLC. This interesting talk of Ginny Juice has got to stop. <laughs> I wouldn't be having any of it. But no, seriously, it's been fucking amazing. Um, the amount of people that have turned out to watch me tonight, like, completely butcher playing this game is just incredible and I, I can't thank you guys and girls from the bottom of my heart anymore but um, yeah thank you I'm, look I'm looking forward to tomorrow's community stream that's going to be good I've yet to decide what we're doing but I'm sure I'll come up with something and the next stream is going to be um, on Tuesday where we're going to be picking up Final Fantasy 7 and then Thursday is going to be where we're going to be picking up more Tomb Raider stuff for the rest of this so all that's left to say is a massive thank you to everyone who has been a part of the Late Night Crew, who has sort of donated any bits, who has hosted, who has prime subbed, regular subbed, anyone who has gift subbed as well, thank you so much. Um, and I've just got to give a shout out to some MVPs. You've got 73 people here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a chance to read out all of your names unless you're willing to stick around with me for just a few minutes just whilst I give you some shout outs. Oh, it could be an ask, but let's, 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 let's try and do this, okay. Zabin. Um, Willy on Wow, Victor Victoro, <laughs> Weird Dot Zero, Virgo Proz, Verdelit, VNK, Unsavory Little Runt, Uncharted Raider, Twitch Details, Tomb of Ash, The Neen Speech, The Hype Queen X, The Albino Rhino, Terranetta, Torm Torms, Tardis Boy. Yo, thank you very much for the raid, by the way, Terranetta. Thank you very, very, thank you very much. Um, I hope your stream went well too. Um, Tardis Boy. Survivor Reborn, Silly Gnome, Shaman, Second Bout of Insanity, Rick Mills 47, Red Pie Red, Rap Wins, Rang for Cat. <laughs> I probably butchered that name. Raider Mama, Perkin Warbex, Panther V Cart, Oddball 87, Nico Reg, <laughs> Nate 96, Mamato, Marconi 1512, Joint Effort, Jesper Bruce. Jay Dank, <laughs> Jane Low, Ice Wizards, Hi and Chimi, Hawk, 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 Hawk Kami, Hawk Kami. I think I got this. Have this too. Gwyn Croft, go with him. Gemini Jake, Gaming One Confesses, F2 Payer, Extra More, Elwood Brown, Electrical Longboard, Ed Ill Ed Illustration, Droop Dog, with his um, Ginny and Juice, <laughs> Down It, um, Deviant Vaney. Deviant Vanny, sorry, not Vaney. Ooh, that sounds weird. That sounds wrong. <laughs> Cyan Jin, Croft Raider, Commander Root, CJ Blackthorn, Chen Zhu 26, Chazinator 93, Case uh, Man Dog, Carbon 14 XYZ, Broken Martian, Bissell Fork, Beans 355GF, no, Avasti, Abbott Costello, Asker, and special thank you to, of course, our resident moderators for the evening, Gimmick Guns and Sarah of War as well. <sighs> I think I've got everybody there. But I just want to say just a blanket thank you to every single one of you. If I forgot to mention you or missed you for some whatever reason, if you ducked out earlier, um, it's all been a pleasure to be able to entertain you for this evening. But anyway, I'm going to leave you to your nights, afternoons, mornings, whatever time it is for you. I'm going to get some sleep. So in the meantime, stay safe, wear a face mask, keep your friends and your family safe. And as always, stay awesome. I'll see you on Friday. Bye for now.